I'm Agent Fernandez, MSP430 Product Marketing Engineer. Today we'll walk through how to set up a simple project using the MSP430 ValueLine Launchpad Development Kit. For today's example, we'll be using TI's very own Eclipse-based IDE, Code Composer Studio version 4. Once our project work area is set up, we'll learn how to find and use the MSP430 MCU documentation and available code examples to help quicken your time to market. For this tutorial, we'll learn how to blink the red and green onboard LEDs of the Launchpad kit. Due to the simplicity of this tutorial, any MSP430 value line device can be used. So let's start off by taking a closer look at the Launchpad board. But before we do any programming, let's understand the pin assignments of Launchpad. As you can see, every pin of the MSP430 value line microcontroller device is broken out to the side of the board for easy interfacing of external components. Also, you can see that every pin port is labeled with its number and a short description. For example, P1.0 is tied to LED1. P1.1 is tied to the transmit line. P1.2 is tied to the receive line. And pin 1.3 is tied to switch 2. On the other side of the board, pin 1.6 is tied to LED2, and the reset pin is tied to switch 1. So now that we know which port is tied to the onboard components of Launchpad, let's start writing code that will blink the red and green LEDs. First, direct yourself to ti.com slash launchpad wiki. This is your one-stop place for documentations, downloads, code examples, and other resources. Here, we'll download and install our code-limited version of TI's Eclipse-based Code Composer Studio. Once installed, direct yourself to CCS and open it up. Now, we'll name our workspace. We're going to call ours Launchpad Work. We can go ahead and close this welcoming screen. Next, we'll create a new CCS project. We're going to call ours Launchpad LED Example, then click Next. We're going to choose MSP430 for our project type. Then we're going to click Next, and then Next one more time. Now we're going to choose which device we're working on. I'm currently using the MSP430 G2231, but any MSP430 value line microcontroller can be used for this simple LED blinking example. Next, we need to add the main.c file by right-clicking and choosing a new source file. We'll go ahead and name this main.c and click finish. Cool, so now our project is all set up. We're going to go back to Launchpad Wiki to find our code examples. You can click on this link here and that'll take you to our code snippets. This link will take us to the zip file of our various code examples. Opening up the zip file, we'll see that we have assembly and C code examples. We'll be using our C code. In this readme.txt file, we can see descriptions and file names for each code snippet. The one we want to use is the software toggle. Now we know which .c file we need to open up within the zip file. We can double click to open this. Next, we'll select all and copy and paste this into the main.c file we created in our CCS project. Currently, this code will only toggle LED1, which is tied to port 1.0. and this uses our DCO internal oscillator of the MSP430. In order to blink the two LEDs of the launchpad, we'll have to make some quick adjustments to this code example. 
We'll start by making some simple edits to this simple schematic. We're going to add port 1.6, which is tied to LED2 on our launchpad board. Next, we need to change the included header file to the current device you're using. In our example, we're using MSP430 G2231, so we'll make those edits. The various .h header files for each MSP430 device is already located in this folder here. Next, we need to set the direction of our second LED. As we can see, LED1, which is tied to port 1.0, is already configured. We need to do the same exact thing for port 1.6. So we know port 1.6 is tied to LED2 and port 1.0 is tied to LED1 on our launchpad board. To figure out which number we need to use, we first take a look at each bit. This bit is tied to port 1.0, this to 1.1, this to 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, and 1.6. We'll set that to 1 to make it an output port. Similarly, this bit corresponds to port 1.0, so we'll set that to 1. Now we can convert these binary numbers to hexadecimal, and that is the number that we have here. Now that we've configured ports 1.0 and 1.6's outputs, we can now toggle the LEDs in our for loop. This will toggle the LEDs on and off. This line here sets the delay and shows how long the LED will stay on and off. Great, so now our code is all set. We can now debug and program our MSP430 device. First, we need to make sure the launchpad is connected to your PC with the included mini USB cable. Once connected, we can program the device by clicking the debug button. Perfect. So now our device is programmed. We can click this green run button and that will run the code that we just created on our launchpad board. At this point, we should see that the launchpad's LEDs are blinking. So good job, you just created your first launchpad project. So as you can see, we just used launchpad and CCS to load code on an MSP430 value line microcontroller, and it can now be used to support your own application designs. So thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy your launchpad development kit. For more information and links to various IDEs, code examples, videos, and documentation, please visit www.ti.com launchpadwiki. Thanks.